Hello everyone, my name is Chris and I have spent 10 hours learning Winston. I can guarantee you that after watching this video, you will enjoy Tank Roll and Winston specifically a lot more. You will find ways to improve your own gameplay and rank up as a result. Let's get started. In this video, I will give you a comprehended knowledge of everything that I have learned about the tank in general and Winston specifically. We will go over the best and the worst characters to play with and against Winston. I will speak about accepting possibilities and limitations of the character. We will go over typical mistake that every Winston player is making. So we will start off with the function of Winston. In my opinion, Winston is a very high paced space creator with the ability to distract or kill the enemy backline, as well as create artificial walls that separate tanks from DPS and DPS from healers, allowing your team to capitalize on that. And by understanding the function of the character, it is really easy to understand what is going to be the correct way of playing Winston. Of course, newer players are playing him like a brawl tank, just trying to zap Reinhardt or trying to battle Ramatra front to back, while experienced players are looking at windows of opportunities to strike the enemy backline with their friendly tracer or Sombra or both of them. It is very interesting how my personal perception of the character has changed tremendously throughout the months of playing the game. I am still very much new to Overwatch, yet I feel like I have a really good skill of fast learning, especially after I have an idea when I look at the players who have already succeeded at the game. I really like to analyze what, how and when are they are doing certain stuff that bring them results that they are having. I would try my absolute hardest to make this video as clear and understandable as possible so it will answer all your questions about the character. So after we answer the question about the function of the character, it is very important to speak about abilities. I would want to touch on certain counterintuitive aspects of every single button that you can press on Winston to maximize your potential. It is very crucial to understand when, how and where you should apply certain abilities to get maximum value in each and every situation. And I would want to start with our primary and secondary fire called Tesla Cannon. First of all, I would like to give you a blueprint on where and how you should use it. There are three ways that you can utilize your right click. I'm sure a lot of players have no idea that you can even charge the right click. Welcome to the club, buddy. First of all, you can use it before the team fight just to poke out enemies and give yourself some ultimate charge, as well as soften the squishes up, to make them an easier target to kill for your teammates. Second of all, before you dive. It is very crucial to use and charge up your Tesla gun while you are jumping up in the air to deal that initial damage that will help you get a solo kill or help you to get a kill with your teammate. And thirdly, when a person that you are chasing after the jump has ran out of range, exceptionally important to do so, it takes mechanical skill and formed habit to really get this to an automated kind of state where you don't really think of where and how you should use it, you just use it naturally. Don't worry if you are not doing that automatically, it definitely gonna come up with time. Your primary fire is within 8 meter range, obviously you don't have a thingy to measure the distance, so you would have to get the feel of it. But overall, this is literally everything that you need to know about your left and right click. Make sure that you go in with a charged right click, jump on the target to deal on spot damage, zap him to death, and when he's gonna get close to the melee kill, you're gonna melee him and finish him off. This is literally the perfect blueprint jump on Winston. Let's go for more.
Let's talk about his next ability, Jump. After spending some time on Winston, I found some very interesting and creative ways to use this ability to maximize my potential and usefulness on the character. First of all, you can sneak in a melee after you jump in to get that additional damage. And when you pair that up with the right click, you get quite a lot of damage on a squishy. Second thing. There is a thing where you are zapping your opponent and jumping straight up to surprise him and deal that additional 50 damage, reload, give yourself some time to get out of his line of sight and surprise him with that very interesting attack. And that's pretty much everything you need to learn about the jump. Make sure that you utilize your ability to go on high grounds make sure that you utilize your ability to engage and disengage make sure that you reset when necessary and don't just go in and feed without the bubble speaking of bubble it's gonna be the next ability on our list and this one is pretty easy i see so many winston players are making the same mistake over and over again giving up bubble too early you jump in no one's looking at you, no one is wasting cooldowns, and no one is dealing damage to you or your teammates, yet you are bubbling so early that it's costing you fights and even games sometimes. So what you want to do instead is bubble as late as you physically can while staying alive. Make sure that you block key ultimates and cooldowns such as fire barrage and many many others you can also use bubble to zone out tanks from supports dps from tanks and vice versa as i've said it previously this is very important as many characters have no way to heal through the shield baptiste is gonna let his tank die anna and kiriko as well use those abilities in a smart manner and you are gonna get rewarded with insane clips and nice moments when your team commands you from being really really good in terms of the primal rage you would want to press it as late as possible you would want to bait out damage cooldowns as well as you have to learn how to juggle the primal rage you can find codes to practice that thing on the internet just search for winston juggle and then search for reddit here is pretty much everything you need to learn about abilities we will elaborate on certain combos later on in this video and next up we will talk about best friends of winston what should you play when you are doing what should you play when you are in a trio or even if you are a full stack Let's talk about best ally combinations that you can use with Winston to maximize your potential and function of the character. As we all know, Winston is a dive hero and it's not a surprise that you would want to have dive teammates or teammates that can help you dive in a more effective manner. Let's start off with DPS characters that will allow you to do so. Unfortunately, it's not Overwatch 1, so second tank is not an option on the list. But here we are. We get what we get. The first DPS pair that I absolutely enjoy playing Winston with is gonna be Tracer plus Sombra. The fact that you are so free to do anything you want on the map pretty much against every single comp out there is insane. You can play Tracer Sombra Winston on every single map you want. You can play Tracer Sombra Winston against every single comp. And if you are coordinated enough and three of you are individually strong as players, you will get insane results as a result. Very interesting. Another character that will benefit you a lot is gonna be Genji. Very counterintuitive as Genji is a pretty weak character in the current meta, really easily counterable, yet with Winston it finds his value really really well. Characters such as Hanzo can be really nice because he can set up some damage for you to jump in 
Widowmaker is also nice as she can pump up some damage for you to combo a squishy with ease. But when you look at the DPS lineup, even if you don't have the dive DPS, Winston can absolutely work regardless just because of how strong the character is. You just need to find a way to find value in pretty much every single situation out there. Soldier can work well, Ash can work well, so I don't feel like there is a single character that you will have problems playing with. You don't have anti-synergies, you just have to adjust your playstyle accordingly and go for a distraction type of character rather than a killer. And now let's talk about the support pair that will absolutely transform your Winston playstyle from miserable to incredible. And the first character I would want to speak about is gonna be Anna. The fact that she can sleep a target for you to set up on him, the fact that she can anti a choke and get an easy kill on a squishy for you, the fact that she can heal you and follow up with the damage makes her the best or one of the best tank support combos in the game out there as the season 5 goes on. Another great character to support Anna is gonna be Brig, and we are going into some comp situations where Anna Brig is literally the best combo in the game right now in terms of the support pair. The fact that you are absolutely unkillable in terms of your backline, the fact that your Anna is constantly safe because she has a bodyguard that protects her all the time from any dive threats with ease makes her really unleash her full potential and this is insane not to mention the fact that nano monkey is incredibly strong just make sure that you don't nano monkey in the primal stage because that's kind of a waste as you want to zap your opponents with additional damage other characters i thought about it the fact that you are so mobile makes other characters really inferior to the options that i showed you above lucio is pretty useless to winston as you don't need speed boost and his healing is inferior iriko can work as well but it's not anna by any means lucio we already spoke about him. Moira is just a horrendous choice. Mercy is just a horrendous choice in the current meta. Of course, these characters can work. These characters are good. But there are just better options for the support lineup. And I feel like if you have a friend who's playing Ana, you can have maximum enjoyment of Winston. Just as I had maximum enjoyment of the character while I do it with my friend. As we continue our journey through the ranks, I would want to touch on the topic of tank matchup when you are playing Winston. There are three types of tanks. Dive tanks, oak tanks, and brawl tanks. When we talk about brawl tanks, we speak about Zarya, we speak about Junker Queen, we speak about Ramatra and Reinhardt. All the tanks that can frontline, that can play front to back, and face to face the other tank. Dive tanks are obviously Wrecking Ball, Winston, Diva. And as for a bulk tank, we have Sigma on the list. It is very interesting how you play against all the categories of tanks. When it comes to the Brawl tank, you just avoid him and jump the back line. Every single time you would try to zap Reinhardt, he will out damage you, he will outburst you, he will pin you to the ground and make your life miserable. Instead, go for the support. When it comes to dive tanks, you also try to ignore them. But when the opportunity arises, you can peel for your backline. If you have no idea what peeling for the backline means that you are matching the target of the enemy tank. If he's going for your mercy, you are jumping on the Doomfist that's going for the mercy and trying to bring him down before he brings your mercy down. You are either making him go away or you kill him. Simple as that. The only character that can really make your life miserable 
can be D.Va, but in reality, D.Va is not a Winston counter, as you can always avoid her and go for a different target. Yes, D.Va is really nice when she's peeling for the backline, when she is using her thrusters and matrix to defend her support. And it can be especially difficult to do anything against Ana, Brig, and D.Va. We'll speak about counters overall later on in this video. But yeah, when it comes to Sigma, you just absolutely avoid him, kill his team, and then kill the Sigma last. So you are playing back to front rather than front to back. It is very important to see that. In terms of Ramatra, he definitely has a favorable matchup if you are trying to match him. As you can see on the screen, I am playing versus Ramadra, and I am trying my absolute hardest to bait out his form to minimize the damage that he can deal to you. Make sure that you don't feed the ultimate charge to the enemy players if not necessary. Make sure that you play corners, make sure that you are always having a way to engage or disengage, and if you found yourself in a very bad and stressful situation, you always have Primal ready to strike back. In terms of other dive tanks, I feel like you don't have any problems with any of those, as you have very neutral to very favorable matchups. Doomfist is a horrendous tank in the current meta, he is not doing anything and easily counterable. Wrecking Ball is very hard to master, and in order to have any value on a character, you have to be three times as skilled as I am on Winston to have the same value as I have. Other tanks are just not it. Other tanks are just not it. So you are left alone in very interesting tank matchups where instead of climbing the mountain Fuji the way that everyone climbs it, you go for a different route. Speaking of the whole DPS drama counter that we have in the community lately, where people are complaining that it's almost impossible to play Winston into Reaper, almost impossible to play Winston into Torbjorn, almost impossible to play Winston into... What is this character called? Bastion. I even forget the name because he's that useless. The fact that you can absolutely avoid any confrontation with Reaper, Bashan, and Torbjorn makes them no more than a useless characters that you are forcing them to play on, so your team can absolutely counter them without any problem. The fact that you are forcing a player to play Reaper and he has never played Reaper ever in his life, except this game that you are playing Winston, you are literally forcing him off of his comfortable character to a character his team forces him to play and it is very very easy to take advantage of that yes reaper can be a problem and if you are out of position he can absolutely destroy you yes torbjorn can right click you especially with recent buffs yes bastion in his form is dangerous and can peel for you and destroy your shield in a second but looking at your level of mobility, do you really think that you will allow them to do so? If you are experienced on Winston, do you really think that you will make sure that they get an angle on you? I don't feel like it. And looking at the games I am playing versus Reaper, it is the same scenario all over again. All over again, I'm sorry. They are playing their normal character. Their team is blaming them, so they switch to Reaper. They lose when they are playing Reaper, and then they lose confidence forever. Simple as that. Okay, so the only thing that we have to speak about when it comes to counters is the enemy supports that can make your life heaven or hell, depending on what and how they are playing. The worst combination of characters that you can play against is gonna be Ana Brig. It is gonna be impossible to dive their backline without consequences. Brig has a very nice 1v1 against you, especially if you don't have any dive DPS with you. 
Ana is never gonna die because the brick health packs go through your bubbles and you just will never be able to kill her with your little to no burst damage. And I believe that other supports are just food for you. This literally free elo when they are playing they are beloved Mercy Ana or they are going for Life Weaver Kiriko super super easy to play Winston into that it is actually insane what kind of difference Brig makes against you so imagine you are diving a backline where Mercy is just passively healing Ana in comparison with Brig that's literally macing you down to the ground and there is nothing you can do to save yourself so these are the supports that will make your life miserable and in my personal opinion, not many players can play Brig, simply because they think the character is not fun, so they are not playing it. It's way easier to play Mercy, it's way easier to play Moira, no one wants to be mentally drained after they play the game, especially the e-girls. Imagine the fun that you are ruining when an e-girl and an e-boy are trying to set up a date and you are playing Winston Tracer Sombra, Anna Brig and constantly diving her and poor little e-boy DPS can literally do nothing against you. Do you think he's gonna get a kiss? An online kiss at the end of the date? Do you think she's gonna be happy with him? Of course not. She's gonna DM me, add me for friends. This is the power of Winston that I want all of you to possess. <laughs> Jokes aside, Zenyatta is complete food when you are playing against him. Baptiste is a complete food when you are playing against him. Yuriko, without TP and cleanse that you bait out from her, is a complete food and there is nothing they can do. This is exactly why Winston is one of the strongest characters in the game right now and 100% strongest tank in the game. There is not a single S tier tank, but Winston is surely the top of A tier. It is very interesting how Sometimes people blame their supports for not helping the tank. They are blaming, like, I showed you the clip where I segregated Doomfist from uh, the whole team and he probably was complaining, where is my heal supports, excuse me, but supports are not the problem. They are getting dove by and there is nothing you can do as a tank. You don't have the capacity to peel the backline, you don't have any idea of what to do, and this is just a complete disaster and a half. Nice. Our 9, and let's go for certain mistakes that pretty much every single Winston player is making, regardless of the skill level, the amount of hours put in the tank role and Winston specifically. First and the most important thing that people keep forgetting is the line of sights and capabilities of your support players. When you are playing a lineup that is Mercy Moira, God forbid playing that with Winston. This is just GG's, you can uninstall game and never play it again if you are playing with that. So let's imagine you are playing Mercy Moira. You don't want to jump too far because your supports have no capacity to heal you. They have no option to do so. When you are playing Ana and you are jumping around the corner and then blaming and crying for healing, saying that your Ana is trash because he did not heal you, while well, you are making it so much harder for her to even see you, right? <laughs> I see that everywhere. <laughs> Another mistake Winston players are making is that they are jumping without their bubble. You have to get into a thinking have to get into a mentality of not doing anything. A very very nice quote from Gary Kasparov, one of the world chess champions, is that he said that if you don't have a good move on the chessboard, it doesn't mean that you have a do you have to do a bad one. Holy moly, this is actually so deep. The fact that people are always trying to do everything in a fast manner makes it so hard for you to really get full value when you are going in at the right time. It's not always that you are doing it right after you got a kill. So you got a kill and you have to jump for the second one. No, assess the situation, prepare for the next fight, set up for it, 
make sure that your teammates are reloaded, their abilities have not on are not on cooldown, and they are ready to support you. I see that so many times when Winston is so greedy, when he goes for one kill, and then straight jumping straight into another and just dying for free without any help. Well, in reality, this is a 5v4 and even 5v3 situation where you win 100% of the time. You just need to be patient and smart about your decision making. Last and final hour of the challenge. And it is safe to say that if I would given an option to play only one character for the rest of my life, and my life is gonna be based on Overwatch, I would choose Winston or Anna. These two characters are my bread and butter. These are the characters that I absolutely love. They are both very high skill ceiling. You have to understand a lot to utilize those characters to their full potential. And I absolutely love Winston. When I just started playing the character, I always felt that he's squishy. I always felt that I am not doing enough to the team. But the more I play, the more I realize how overpowered he is, especially when you get the mechanics right. So we already spoke about pretty much everything that I wanted to speak of, but there is one topic that I would want to elaborate on, and this is acceptance of your possibilities and limitations. People are underestimating the impact of other people have on their game and they overestimate their own impact. It is very important to know that and keep that in mind because you are playing Overwatch and if you think that you are the only player that's making the impact, you should really go and watch the replay of your Ana that's hitting all the no-scope shots on you while you are trying to not only juke opponents but her as well. This is a part of accepting your possibilities and limitations. Sometimes you're gonna get games where they are literally unwinnable, they are literally unplayable. This is life and you have probably already know that. Another thing is when you are overestimating your ability to get a kill onto a person. I see that so many times with newer Winston players where they are just jumping into five people expecting the teammates to follow up while they never speak anything. Uh, they never say anything in the voice chat, they never communicate, they never call shots. And this is another big topic that I would want to touch on. Communication on Winston is a key. You have to understand that if you are not speaking in a microphone, your teammates will never understand what's on your mind. They have no idea about the cooldowns that you have, they have no idea about your plans, they cannot look from your point of view, they have no idea who are you going in, What? how many ammo do you have left, and do you even have your ultimate? People don't look into tab, they don't really care about that. Most Overwatch players are so focused on themselves, they literally never see anything beyond that. And you as a tank player have to be a leader, you as a tank player have to be a person that's calling out shots, you have to be a person that's making the difference in each and every game. I highly advise you to join a 5 stack. If you are lucky enough, you will join a 5 stack that's gonna be higher in a skill level than you. So you can ask for their advice, you can ask for VOD reviews. There are so many players that would happily VOD review for you and point out your mistakes and make you a better player as a result. You just have to be a nice person for it to work. So we pretty much spoke about everything in this guide. If you have any questions, any suggestions or anything that you feel like controversial and you want to have a talk about, I would love to speak about it in the comment section down below. Make sure that you write it. If you like this video, like it. If there is something that you disagree on, make sure that you speak about it so we can have a talk. Of course, I am a newer player and don't really understand the game on a super deep level, but I feel like in terms of the ranked matchmaking, 
this knowledge is enough to make a huge difference. Thank you very much for being with me. Thank you very much for watching the videos. I read all the comments. I appreciate your support. It is very important for me. Thank you very much again. See you in the next one. Take care.